How you doing? All right, whenever you're ready, bro. All right. Um, good round. Just what were the, the keys to today, and how does the golf course playing? Yeah, uh, golf course is still soft. Um, kind of keep thinking it's going to firm up. Never has. Um, some pretty easy pins. I mean, if you hit the fairways, you can attack all day out here. Um, got off to a great start again today like I did yesterday. I just uh, kept it going. Had a couple misses that got some breaks, and um, you got to take advantage of those. And, and played the front nine great. I, I was trying to keep the pedal down. Um, made a good par on 10. Didn't birdie 11. Didn't birdie 12. Had great opportunities there. 13. And then one of my best iron shots I felt like today was on 14, and I flew it over the pin, hit the down slope, goes to the back of the green, and three pot. So that kind of stopped the momentum. Um, but man, it, it, it felt good. I, I felt free out there. I was attacking, and I was trying to go as low as I could. Um, so uh, I haven't had the best record here, but um, definitely have a lot to build on from this week of, of how to play this course. Obviously, got to be hitting the ball well, but um, it's nice to see some good stuff happen out here. I was surprised by your record here. What Are you learning anything, or are we going in the right direction? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know how to play this place. It's just about hitting hitting the correct shots. Um, I mean, it, for me, it's off the tee out here. If you can put the ball in play and in the fairway, you can attack the flags, and I can use my iron play to get to certain flags. But if you're in the rough lot, hitting in bad spots, it's just it just compounds out here, and you try to get it back, and you start making doubles, and it's just hard to get it back. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I... Just hit a little better this year. Yesterday wasn't what I wanted, but I, I still felt pretty good about my game, and nice to cap it off with a good round today. You know, after after yesterday, was there anything that changed for you today? Nothing at all. I mean, I, I didn't practice at all after the round. It was just one of those days where just got nothing out of it. Um, made a real, my only double this week. I, I thought I flagged a wedge shot yesterday and ended up making a double on number six. So it's just one of those days, and you kind of happen. Uh, they they happen out here, and um, just got to brush it off and come back out this morning and do the same thing and see if you can expect different results. And I knew I was playing well and got it going today, and, and it was one of those rounds that could have been a 59-60, 61, but I just didn't quite get it going with the putter. You're up at Sea Island. You work with Justin Parsons, so I'm sure you've seen plenty of kind of Brian over the last few years. What, you know, if he wins this, adds it to the Open, it's – a great 12 months. Is there anything that you've seen in the past year that maybe has allowed him to take these big titles? He Brian has always been an unbelievable player. Um, one of the best I've ever seen. Best hands I've ever seen. I think he's starting to believe that he's an elite player deep down. Um, I know he's working really hard. Um, and a confident Brian Harmon is uh, really hard to beat. Um, I mean, the past few years, I hadn't really seen it a whole lot, but um, ever since what he did at, at the Open, um, it's just kind of sparked a new energy in him, and um, he knows that he's an elite player out here. And uh, if he keeps playing like this, then watch out. And as a guy who went to Georgia a few years ahead of you, maybe a, a guy who's a little older, what do you appreciate him as a, about him as a player and a pro and, and maybe things you've learned from him or, or seen that you emulate? Yeah, I mean, he's a competitor. Um, he, yeah. I feel like I've pushed him a little bit. Um, he's definitely pushed me to be to be better. That's what we did a lot of Georgia. But uh, up at Sea Island, we, we all really love seeing each other's successes, but it, it pushes me to be better. Like, maybe I, I know I can compete with Brian Harmon. I can win a major. I can win some of these tournaments. Um, well, it's just awesome to see. I mean, he's, he's a fierce competitor. Um, got one of the best short games I've ever seen. Um, and people talk about distance. I mean, he, he hits it plenty far enough, um, and, and especially a place like this where you got to hit a lot of fairways, you got to curve it both ways. Um, he's become more of a complete player of, of he can hit the fade now. Um, used to, he was predominantly a draw. Um, now he can work it both ways, hit it high and low, and um, he's, he's confident right now and, and got it going on. I never would have thought someone said Brian Harmon lacked confidence. I know he said the pro career kind of kicked him around for a yeah, while. Yeah, but um, I, I can definitely tell when uh, when he's feeling really, really good about it, about his game, and I've I've definitely. What do you see? I mean, just the way he talks about it. He he knows he's playing really well and and working hard, and and uh, I, I think he's I think he's on the top of his game right now.
Cool. Thanks, Harris. Yeah. Appreciate it. See y'all.